good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We are on August 29th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And this was our last little bit of blue sky before the cold front moved in. And you could see they were mixing up some stuff up there in the skies, you know, just kind of flying over the high pressure. Some beautiful images though, you know, they make nice straight lines in the sky. And weird lines in the ocean and... I mean... They're telling us that all these lines are uh, steamship lines from the freight liners and the, and the ocean liners. Um, I don't know. Interesting images from NASA Worldview. And overlooking Canada. Things have kind of cleared up for the smoke. And uh, yeah, the only fires that are really going right now are the ones in Washington here and northern parts of California. Those are the major fires that are showing up on NASA Worldview right now. Well, we're, we're able to get a clear sky to look at it anyway. High pressure ridge building in, of course, on the west on the western side of North America, and they love to get in there in the high pressure ridges and inject whatever they inject. Seen it time and time again. Very busy Pacific Ocean right now. We've got three tropical storms. One is an area of interest. We have Miriam, Norman. We also have tropical storm soon to be Typhoon, well it is now Typhoon Jabai, projected to turn into a Category 4 in the coming days, heading straight for Japan again. So Typhoon Jabai will be the storm to talk about for this season, I'm sure. And then we've got Tropical Storm Norman, who is projected to turn into a Category 3 in the coming days. Depends on how far north it tracks. And then we've got Tropical Storm Miriam, who is heading into a high pressure blockade and going to head north and diminish. But we also have the area of interest, the Atlantic Ocean, still not on the Tropical Storm watch list. But you can see here the coming days a large low pressure does develop through this forecast. We're just going to show you clouds for the world as well here. You can see the coming days, that large push, there is a low pressure center that develops. Kind of on a northwest track. Depends on how far north it goes to depend on whether or not it grows into a Atlantic hurricane. But we also have, a, I'm looking at this area here, another low pressure developing off the Caribbean. In the coming days, there's going to be a lot of moisture associated with this low developing, and that could be a tropical depression forming. Depending on the kind of space weather that we have this week, those these storms could ramp up into some pretty large nasty storms and you can see all that cloud cover now being sucked into that high pressure ridge clearing things up a bit and also pulling tropical storm Miriam north So yeah, five day forecast showing the three tropical storms. And also we're gonna be looking at the cold temperatures and snow moving into parts of North America. That's right. Northwest territories and Alaska. In the coming days, they're gonna be getting some snow 
they've already gotten some snow early winter is on the way <clears throat> a lot of meteorologists around the world are uh, are projecting a long cold winter and I've been saying that since last season but uh, yeah it's just gonna get colder and colder and the winters are gonna be longer and longer so stay aware and prepared and layer up for this winter overlooking Europe things are already starting to cool down up there So yeah, five-day forecast. Major concerns are the tropical storms. And also, I'm watching this area particularly as these large low-pressure centers are still barreling over the peninsula. Up to, I'm sure that we're going to have something soon for earthquake-wise in that area. And here we're looking at the last 48 hours for earthquakes. Last night we had that large 7.1 Hunter Islands, New Caledonia. And that was after that very deep earthquake in Fiji, 590 kilometer depth. But around the world, we're pretty busy for earthquakes. I want to thank all my new subscribers for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide where I post severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. As I like to stay aware and prepared myself and do my research and I project it for you in a quick 10 minute video. A little weather analysis and earthquake update. You guys are awesome and I want to thank you all for being loyal and loving and inspirational subscribers you guys are the best morning dew forever daily events worldwide here we're going to look at the last seven days for earthquakes but yeah i want to invite anybody who is uh, in the Calgary area who watches this channel Morning Dew to join me September 1st. I'll give you more details tonight when I go live on that. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.